While there are big name surrealist animators out there like Shinya Ohira, Masaki Yuasa, Hisashi Mori, and so on, and also Yoshinori Kanada school animators like Hiroyuki Imaishi and Takashi Koike, these days it might be difficult to find some of their newest work if you aren't a follower of obscure and alternative animation. I want to cover a surrealist animator who, if you watch a lot of contemporary anime, you've probably seen before. He has done a lot of stuff. That's actually how I got dressed for this panel. <laughs> <laughs> no, best transformation ever. <laughs> here's one of his... <laughs> here's one of his most well-known scenes. This is from Bakemonogatu. Hiro Nori Tanaka is a big name because he puts out a staggering volume of animation every year. A search for his name on YouTube will pull up at least half an hour's worth of compilation videos. His animation is, has a little of the rough and dirty surrealism of Shinya Ohira, who he cites as an influence, but also the effects heavy exaggeration of Yoshinori Kanada and the wide angle camera work of Masaki Yuasa. Tanaka made his first big splash with a toy animation's Pretty Cure, and he has since done not one, but three full solo episodes of various television anime. Here's a clip of his part from the original Black Rock Shooter. What I like best about Tanaka is the rawness of his drawings, the way he's unafraid to warp space in pursuit of near incomprehensible flashiness. He lacks the refined quality of someone like Mitsuo Iso or Yutaka Nakamura. His drawings are messy, the motion is even messier, and his keys are plain as day. But Tanaka makes up for it with just sheer energy and character. Whenever his work appears on the screen, it has such an overwhelming presence that I sit up on my chair, my eyes bug out, and my jaw just hits the floor. The first time I became aware of Tanaka was in a 2008 anime series about the eccentric tenants of an apartment building, which out of nowhere had a musical scene with Tanaka animating the entire thing. The animation was so rough, but I couldn't tear my eyes away from it. <laughs> This went on for minutes, and the, the, final, the final cut in the scene had all six characters dancing around in one 20-second shot. And despite how funky looking it was, I could feel the artist's passion there to want to do that entire scene. And passion is what we really want, in whatever form in the anime we watch. For that, for that reason, it's the only scene that I remember in this whole anime. <laughs> 
My favorite scene from Hironori Tanaka is a floaty and nearly incomprehensible dream world battle. This is where he appears most like this realist animator Shinya Ohira. Hironori Tanaka is a prolific animator and you will probably see him in at least one or two things you watch this year. He's employed often in flashy scenes like transformations and openings and battles that need that extra wow factor. You know, I just want to I want to comment on that too. You could see uh, when her sword broke, the way she kind of staggered and moved was a lot like the same signature he had when uh, the characters were singing in the scene before. I mean, it it looked like the same animator, even though the you know the character designs were completely different. So <clears throat> we're gonna move along and uh, time switch. Yeah. Time to yeah you two switch. So, Neil's going to talk about a realist animator named Hiroyuki Okiura. Okiura. Uh, 